what are the origin stories behind these five Formula One images and bits of footage? Today I picked five all the way from iconic to heartbreaking, starting with the iconic flabbergasted Alonso. During the 2012 Formula 1 season, fans had the opportunity to see some of the most unexpected moments happen, such as Pastor Maldonado's miracle win in Spain and Michael Schumacher's pole lap in Monaco. But at the final race of the season in Brazil, this image of Fernando Alonso would become infamous, beyond being a simple meme on Twitter. Going into the race, Fernando Alonso trailed Sebastian Vettel by 13 points, meaning he would need to finish no lower than third and hope Sebastian Vettel didn't finish the race. Sebastian Vettel would have a horror start, dropping to 7th after starting 4th, but then would be dropped all the way down to last after a collision with Bruno Senna. This suddenly put Alonso in the perfect position to win the championship, but the weather conditions and the nature of Interlagos meant it wasn't over just yet for Vettel. With the combination of a prime Sebastian Vettel and the mighty RB8, Seb stormed his way back up the order, getting up to P7 in just 8 laps. Sebastian Vettel was well and truly back in the game, despite the pit stop and constant work to be done, Sebastian Vettel managed 31 on-track overtakes, finishing the race P6 while Fernando Alonso finished P2. The final driver's standings totaled 281 points for Sebastian Vettel and 278 points for Fernando Alonso, meaning Sebastian Vettel won the championship by just 3 points. And then, the shot of a flabbergasted Alonso looking at Vettel celebrating was born. However, in 2005, Fernando Alonso would find himself on the good side of luck, with this moment being one of frustration and shock for Kimi Raikkonen. During the 2005 Formula 1 season, Kimi Raikkonen was a McLaren driver and Fernando Alonso was proving why he could be the next big thing in Formula 1. Fernando had only not been on the podium just once in the previous six Grand Prix, and his main challenger looked to be Kimi Raikkonen, who had a P3 and two consecutive wins going into the 2005 European Grand Prix. Kimi Raikkonen would start the race from P2, but quickly passed the BMW of Nick Heidfeld into Turn 1. Kimi built up a lead of 1.9 seconds after the first lap. Despite a couple of nervous moments for Kimi, one of his tyres was flat spotted after a lockup, a moment which would go on to ruin his race. The 2005 regulations wouldn't allow drivers to change tyres during a pit stop unless wet weather came into play or you had a puncture. Kimi continued and his lead towards the end of the race was shrinking to the following Renault of Fernando Alonso. Kimi was allowed to pit for a new set of tyres due to it being at a point of failure, but Kimi decided to gamble and go for the win. With 8 laps to go, Kimi's lead over Alonso was 8 seconds, but on the final lap it had dropped to just 1.5 seconds. On the first corner of the final lap, Kimi's suspension failed and exploded due to the vibration caused by his worn tyre. Kimi Raikkonen's point deficit to Fernando Alonso widened and this image has been remembered as Kimi Raikkonen's heartbreaking moment of 2005. Despite Kimi Raikkonen's time at McLaren being remembered as unreliable and a missed opportunity, in more recent years no team has been known by fans as being more strategically unstable than Ferrari. At the 2022 British Grand Prix, a decision by Ferrari would push Charles Leclerc to near breaking point, with his frustration never being more obvious. During one of the most entertaining races of the 2022 season, Ferrari were in a decent position going into the race, with Carlos Sainz on pole and Charles Leclerc starting in P3. The Ferraris remained at the front during most of the race, and on lap 31, Ferrari ordered Sainz to let Leclerc pass since they weren't satisfied with his pace. But soon after, Esteban Ocon would retire from the race, coming to a stop on the track, meaning a safety car was deployed. Strangely, Ferrari would call Carlos in, but leave Charles Leclerc out and when the race restarted, there were only 10 laps remaining. Carlos quickly made his move on fresher tyres and passed his teammate, which left Charles Leclerc a sitting duck for Sergio Perez and Lewis Hamilton. After a battle, Leclerc still put up a good fight for P3, but was eventually left powerless, finishing the race P4. With the race win very much in his favour, Charles Leclerc was clearly unhappy about the decision to leave him out, and what we saw post-race was at the time team principal Mattia Binotto pointing his 
finger at Charles Leclerc like he was telling off his own son. Many speculated about what was going on here, but it was clear to the fans that Ferrari's poor strategy decisions had struck a new nerve with their star driver. While sticking on the topic of Ferrari, we must go back to 2008 for this one, and a story which has been told over a million times. The 2008 Brazilian Grand Prix was the greatest day of Felipe Massa's life for just a few seconds. On the final lap of the race, Lewis Hamilton passed Timo Glock with just two corners remaining, scoring enough points to secure the championship by just one single point over Massa. Joy turned to heartbreak as the Ferrari garage realised what just happened, and when the message was passed on to Massa, the emotions became too much for Brazil's home hero. Massa was visually emotional upon returning to Parc Verme, on the podium and in the press conference, but remained humble and classy in what was one of the most heartbreaking ways to lose a championship. Since then, Felipe Massa has explored legal avenues, seeking to void the result of the 2008 Singapore Grand Prix, which saw Crashgate play a major role in the 2008 season. Losing a Formula 1 championship is heartbreaking, but it pales in comparison to the loss of a driver. The tragedy of Jules Bianchi remains one of the darkest days in Formula 1, and an incident which could have been avoided. Jules Bianchi was a future talent with a seat at Ferrari almost certain. Fans were looking forward to see Jules gather experience at a smaller team like Marussia, and one day get his drive at a top team. On the 5th of October 2008, 2014, Formula 1 would race at Suzuka, but this Japanese Grand Prix was met with heavy rain and wild conditions thanks to a typhoon. On lap 43, Jules Bianchi would lose control of his Marisha at the Dunlop curve. A passenger at this point, Jules collided with a tractor which was removing the Sauber of Adrian Sutil. The incident was captured by a fan at the track, and I must warn you before you find it for yourself that the footage is shocking and confronting. Jules Bianchi was reported as unresponsive and unconscious and was taken to hospital. Jules' family would release a statement providing updates on his condition, but his condition was described as desperate. He was able to be transferred to a hospital in France to continue his recovery and be closer to his family, but on the 17th of July 2015, Jules Bianchi passed away at the age of just 25. Jules was the first driver since Ayrton Senna to be killed by his injuries sustained during a Formula 1 Grand Prix. Jules' death led to rule changes which ensured the chances of this incident ever happening again were minimised. The images of Jules preparing his helmet during a red flag shortly before he lost his own life may be the most sad and heartbreaking bits of footage in the modern era. 